For the B, you're just going to need two 260s. I use a yellow and a diamond clear. All right, so go ahead and blow the yellow up with about two fingers lengths left. And then your clear, you just need enough for the wings right about there. All right, grab your yellow one there. Make sure it's blown up to the right amount. And then we're going to go on this end here, actually. So go ahead and twist the length of the B body. I do somewhere around five to six lengths of my fingers. On the other side there, I'm going to make another twist that's a one inch bubble and twist those ends together. So do that pinch twist right there. All right, you can go ahead and take the rest of that off. I'm gonna go ahead and twist there and pull it apart. And then just make a tie right there. And I like to push that in so it's nice and sealed. All right, go ahead and grab that diamond clear. And this is what we're gonna make the wings out of. So I'm prepping the balloon here. And then make that first loop twist about four fingers lengths. Twist that in. I'm gonna push that nozzle through so it locks in. Do that a couple times. All right. Now do that one more time and do it the same exact size as the loop twist that you just made. Go ahead and pull that excess off there. And then we'll tie that knot so it seals it in. All right, grab that yellow body we just made and you're just gonna push the wings right through there in that crease between the head and the B body. All right, get it nice and snug in there where you want. And there's the B body. All right, grab a Sharpie and now you can be creative here. I'm just going to do a couple eyes. And a mouth. And you can choose to do this or not, but it's nice to put some lines that go all the all the way around. This way it looks like a bee. All right, that is your B. Nice work.